we what's going on YouTube it's Donnie B all day and uh, some of you may have seen this in the shorts well now you're gonna see it in the longs so let me explain to you I'll even I'll even take it out of this wonderful leather shape and uh, and show you what we're talking about right here this guy I love to call this thing the monster mash and I'll explain why um, and the other guy behind this knife likes to call it the ego killer. I think that's really cool too. Um, but I'm going to explain to you or show you why it is what it is. So I'm sitting around the house one day, just chilling out and I get a call from my, 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 my man, Scabber, man, a text or a call. I can't remember one of the two. And, uh, Scabber says, d -bag, here's a deal. I want to do a collab knife with you. And I was like, all right, let's do it. So as soon as he says, I want to do a collab knife, the first question I said is, all right, well, what are you looking for? What what kind of knife do you want to do? And Scab said, I want a hitter. And that's, that's what he said. He said, I want a hitter. I want something that I could, I could just get out and hit with. He said, I don't care about it. He said, I, so he wanted something that could smash things. As soon as he said that, I said, all right. And I went into my library and I grabbed this pad this pad is what I grabbed and I opened up this pad and a bunch of stuff fell out because well I have a bunch of like templates for different knives that I was working on and and even a even a finger loop buoy um but I had all these I had all this this stuff going on I had uh let's see I had some of these guys drawn up in there, and I had, let's see, I had some of some of these guys I drew up in there, and I had all kinds of, like, knife ideas that some, uh, some I've already done and some I haven't done yet that I need to do, um, but I have just all kinds of knife ideas kicking around, and whenever I get an idea in my head, I bring it over to the pad, and I draw them down, right? So... I have these really good ideas. Some of them are, are still stuck in there. And then I got to thinking, all right, so Scab said he wants a hitter. A hitter means it has to be big. Oh, I got some axe designs in here. I got all kinds of crap going on, man. This thing's hard to maneuver. But yeah, I was working on all kinds of stuff. So literally, he said, I want a hitter. That was Scab's only only need he said it has to be a hitter so immediately i know in my head that this knife has to be one thing it has to be big right it has to be big because a it's scab and i already know it has to be big because it's scab and b he wants a hitter well that means we can't be making a small knife so literally as soon as he said a hitter i had this thing pop in my head I had this design pop in my head and I thought to myself, all right, this, I should be able to. so within literally minutes, because as soon as he said, I want to do a collab, that was one thing that already got me started my, my motor turning. And when he said it has to be a hitter, I said, all right, I just dropped some, some pieces and I went in and I drew this, I drew that it literally within probably five minutes of me saying okay this was drawn out this rough sketch was put on paper and i sent it over to scav and i said all right well what about something like this expecting to say all right well let's let's do something like that but let's do this instead or let's do this instead instead he went that's the one that's the one let's do that and I was like, right on, let me put it up on the computer and really, really try and refine this. I got to pick up all these templates. I really ought to think of a better way to put templates in there. They just keep falling out. Um, I said, let me, let me just figure out how we can do this. So then I went onto the computer and I said, okay, this is still a collab. This isn't Scab saying, make a big knife and we'll call it ours. No, no, no. This had to be some of me, some of him. So I bring out this, this design. And then I said to Scab, I said, all right, well, we got a couple things. I said, 
What kind of scales do we want? What color scales do we want? Do we want this thing polished? Do we want this thing black? Scab said, black on black with my carta. Done. So then it came down to a couple of little things. And, well, really one little thing. I made in my original design a double scallop pattern. It went one, two, so I had two humps. You can see this one I closed off after I talked to him. But, so, I was thinking of double scallops. And I said, hey, Scab, what about the double scallops? I said, do you think we should go two, one, or none? So, Scab said, I think just one. And I was like, it's actually good because that makes it more of a usable piece. So, when it was all said and done, I came up with this. And that ended up being the design we sent in. So let's go over some of the specs of what we're looking at. So you saw the leather sheath. It is a nice leather sheath. Has the has the belt loop on the rear. I mean the uh, the leg loop on the rear. Nice sewn in, well done leather sheath. Typical Cougar House awesome sheath. So just like that, you see the large finger choil, the single scallop, the pretty badass curve. And it's curved down to a point because it's just made to hit. So when I did it, I, I wasn't measuring means and I wasn't doing a mathematical build um, because I knew what it was for. I automatically knew it's just to smash around. Look at that beautiful freaking handle. Somebody designed a really nice shape there. Um, it, it just came out great. And doing black on black, I think for like some nasty medieval looking thing it had to be black on black i mean and now that i look at it with this the distance between here and here to do an extra scallop would have closed it off and i would have only had like a five inch area of a flat blade wouldn't have been enough so when scab said just do one it was it had to be one so obviously i made it a little bit long it was more of a swoop and a swoop and I, I straightened it out just a little bit to give it a better match in here because it has to flow right. You know, I don't care if it's just a hitter. It still has to look good and it has to function well. So this is what we're talking about. We're looking at from this point to this point, six and a half inches. Um, we're talking about from, where did I start? From this point to this point is 14 inches. You have a big hefty blade. That there, is eight millimeters thick. Um, we're talking flat grind, natural black, da, da 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 but eight millimeters, 14 inch blade, six and a half inch handle, and what's that scab badassery? Is that what you say? So literally, literally getting off the phone with him, this was drawn in about five minutes. Look how far below center axis the tip falls. Right here is about center. Look at how far below center that tip goes. That means it's just made for one thing, getting around. You're not going to, this isn't your stabbing weapon, because if you stab, if you aim here, the tip is going to hit here, right? So this is your, even though it's got a tip on it, you can still get through, you can still poke. Um, but this is going to be a straight up smasher, basher, just trasher of anything in its path. And we're going to go do that right now. We're just going to go hit a few things, maybe hit a few logs and and something else i don't know we'll just hit so that's what this is for so we're not going to do a regular test we're just going to do a smash now let me show you something let me show you something i drew it up to scale well to make it easy for myself but um so literally this right here was done in about five minutes on paper Maybe less, and then however long it took me to, to finish on the computer. Look at that slope. That's insane. The Kukri House, who made this, they only made two of them. There's only two in the whole world. Um, absolutely killed this. Now, I have no idea if we're going to go production with this. Um, it really comes down to demand. There has to be a minimum of 50 people saying, I'll buy right now, before I can put it into um, into production. Um, and that tells you how many D-Bad knives are sold because they had to have 50 right off the bat just to make it on the page. Um, so there's a lot of blades out there. Um, oh 
man. All right, so we're going to go and smash a few things. Get get a good look at this thing outside. I really want to show you guys. I'd like to say I'd like to show you in the sun, but this is Massachusetts in the winter. So we don't have sun. We have what's called gloom. But look at this. I mean, if you're going to have a gloom and doom, this is the knife you want to have it with. This thing is just a monster, man. It is a monster. And because two monsters finished off how it should look, that's why for me it's the monster mash. But for Scab, it's the ego killer. And I told him he gets to name it, so this is the ego killer. All right, so let's, um, I want to go to the stump, but not to do regular stump stuff. I just want to hit stuff with it. So uh, let's go over and hit stuff. I also have um, coming for you guys the um, my Arkansas toothpick. Um, that right there is a toothpick that you see a lot of um, knife makers do as far as size. Um, this Gil Hibben blade, uh, what is that? Like 12 inches, somewhere in there. Um, mine is 17 inches long. Uh, I think I, I think I may have outdid this thing, but um, let's uh, let's get you guys to a level to where you can see. Oh, I guess that works. And let's start smashing. All right. So this is the first D bad scab collab, and that thing is just. I think I hit it with the with the curve too. Let's go with the tip. Now let's go with the inside curve. It just doesn't matter. Now we're gonna go all the way to the um, to the scallop. It just doesn't matter. Oh man, there we go. Oh, that's a that's a nice fat frozen stick right there. And it is biting. Biting, biting. That is killer. Ugh. That's insane. That's insane. This thing, I gotta say, is is pretty fun to swing. It, uh, it has a lot of a lot of downward momentum. If I just drop the tip, it's gonna it's gonna bite, and that's no swing. Woo! Just dropping the tip. That thing, man. But uh, but it's made for hitting. So let's go hit. Let's take um. Let's take it to one of these uh, twenties logs and just go mental. I, I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. Let's just go as the Vikings would go, berserker. All right. So here we go. Man, little tree armor still on this thing. And man, I can see underneath the bark how much. Wood literally just pulled up. Wow. Wow, look at the hole it already put in that log. Ugh. Ugh. Now, it's not made to chop down a tree this big. But if I keep swinging, I bet it would. I bet it would. I just so badly want to smash things. Oh, yo, yo. I got some thorns going on my legs. All right, so we got all these these hard dead branches sticking out of this tree. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> bam. <laughs> you know what you're thinking? You're thinking, D-Bad, didn't you just say it's winter in Massachusetts? Yeah. I didn't say I'm smart. All right, so let's see. I got these two right here. They're kind of offset. Wonder if I can follow through to both. Yeah. That's a yes. Um, golly. All right, so I got these vines hanging here, and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to go through them because they're dangling. They're not taut. So let's see. Ugh. Well, I went through a whole lot of... Actually, there was only one that I didn't go all the way through. Um, but I did tear it down. That has to count for something. Golly! Oh, my gosh. Scab has his on the way to him. Right now, it's in the mail. So, when he gets it, 
I'm pretty excited to see I'm pretty excited to see Scab's um, smashing video because down there it's warm and I bet they don't mind being outside. For me, this sucks. All right, but we have this. Ooh. Look at this balance. Not so bad for an unmeasured hand-drawn piece. When I say unmeasured, I mean mathematically the mean and all that jazz. Obviously, I measured how big it should be. Uh, let's see. There's a big knot right there. Oh! There we go. That's some crappy wood, but that was fun. That was fun. All right, let's see. Let's see. Ugh. 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 There we go. There we go. Oh, that was a good piece of wood right there. That was a different one. That was sycamore straight up. Boo! Golly, I love it. All right, so <laughs> I just want to keep hitting stuff. Ta da! So, um, I don't know, Scabber. I think we got something. I think we got something pretty good here. This might be winner, winner, chicken dinner with a side of cranberry sauce. This thing is bad ass. Just. Oh, look at how slow, and I can keep the, the rotation even. Normally when you go slow, this will happen. It'll go sideways, I'll just, all the way around, all the way around. It's harder going frontwards because you really want to kick out. This thing is so nice. It just flows straight through. It is beautiful. Woo. Shelly coming home from the gym, getting her lift on. That's where I just came from, but she works out longer because she's a mental case on those uh, ellipticals and stuff. She'll go on there for hours. All right, so let's see here. Let's take out some of this stuff so we can get some of this stuff. Got vines. Ugh. 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 Golly! This is a hitter. This scab wanted a hitter. Well, this thing, look at that. I mean, the edge, no problem. No problem. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can walk through some of this dangerous stuff over here. And get over to one of these 20 forest trees out here that are growing like crazy because I haven't been back here. All right, let's see. Set you guys up so you don't fall down. Woo wee. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh, falling down. Tripping on stuff. All right, so here we go. Ah. 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 <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Oh, you know what? Let's hit one of these. Let's hit one of these pieces of pallet. <laughs> that whole thing just crumbled. All right, get out of there. So, here it is. When Scab calls me up and says, he wants to do a knife, and I say, all right, let me just throw it on the ground. This is what happens. <sighs> threw it right on, the, right on the heel, too, and on the tip. Bounced off the tip. We're still looking good. This is what happens. Man, did you hear the sound it made when it hit the cement? <sighs> that, was pretty, that was pretty gnarly. All right, so let me see. I got you guys all loose and, and out of place. Ha! Ah, this thing. This 
it's a beast. So the uh, the monster knife of monster knives is so I just literally smashed it on the tip. Look at that. Still good. Still good. This thing is practically a sword. My Arkansas toothpick. Yikes! Now that thing's a little bigger. That's a that's a sword. Wait till you guys see. The Arkansas toothpick is going to be an, under production pretty soon. I have to do the video on it. Get out the pictures. Get it all going. Golly. Um, if by chance you really want one of these, um, between me and Scab, if if it's okay, it's it's okay with me. But um, I'm not the only one in on this project. I don't know if maybe Scab wants us just to be the only two in the world. And I'm not mad about that if me and him are the only two in the world with one of these. But if Scab is generous enough, generous enough to say, yeah, if somebody wants one, let's let them do it. Um, what I'll do is I will send you the, um, you can email me. Uh, and I'll put my email in the link down below. And what I'll do is I will send you the... Uh, the drawing that you can send to the Kukri house and they'll do it up for you. Um, they should already have it there and probably sitting on file just in case this thing goes crazy popular. But look at these, look at that line. Golly, that is pretty. Somebody's a genius. Um, so, so just in case, but I can, I can send it to you if you want one and you can just have it made for you. No problem. The Kukri House will do um, single orders, custom orders, um, all day long. That's what they do. But uh, but if so, if, if if that's a deal, and Scabber is feeling generous because I will not release this without Scab's permission. Um, but if so, if you want one, who knows? Maybe Scab's gonna be nice enough, and we can get you the drawing, and you could have one of these absolute beast of a freaking knife. I mean. It is a beast of a knife. This is one of those you see in the zombie movies where they're cutting. I mean, gone. Woo! It's badass. All right, so that's it for this one. Hi, I'm Donnie B. All Day. Until next night. And watch out for Scab's video is coming soon.